Hey everybody, Joshua Pollard. It's the uh, 24th of April. I don't know if you watched my video earlier. Uh, some of you may or may not know I've got a sizable interest in uh, helium exploration and production out in uh, Arizona coming. Really good looking wells should be coming online soon. I'm hoping, I think we're about done permitting so we should be drilling very quickly. Um, just kind of talk about the helium shortage and uh, it basically came about because the federal government did what they always do and they lose money uh, and it killed the industry because if you've got a gas station on one corner and the federal government has a gas station on the other corner and they're losing money on every gallon and just undercutting you say screw it I'll go back to oil and gas and that's what happened and it created a black hole for helium production and you know we're basically going to run out um, we won't run out we'll we'll find a way but it it's definitely put a damper on it put it in perspective I think natural gas is like 315 per thousand cubic feet uh, we're looking at getting 150 to two hundred dollars for that same amount that same size of gas and helium so it's you can see the numbers the numbers on it are crazy the wells were offsetting it just it's awesome um you know i think we've got two in today's numbers they, they equate to like two and three hundred million dollar wells so for one well <laughs> and we've got thousands and thousands of acres so it's it's it was uh it was a lot of work we put in some uh 100 hour work weeks you know in at 6 a.m leave at 11 p.m monday through sunday seven days a week had to go out to arizona a couple times uh, but it's all coming together and we're going to start drilling i'm going to uh video for you guys and you'll get to see um, us drilling the wells testing all that fun stuff I'm, I'm excited I'm, I'm ready to get it going uh, I've got a lot on my plate if you can't tell right now so uh, in the oil bus you have to work twice as hard and find new money I'm doing it with the helium it's gonna be awesome also if we get uh, over 1% like we're gonna be 8 to 10% helium and uh, if we get argon over 1%, we actually get uh, basically a bonus. And that's a lot of money too. So that's going to be whew, France money. <laughs> but uh, yeah, that's what's going on. We got the lithium mines coming on. Um, won't get too much into that because we're still securing more acreage. Um, been doing some tests I'm not going to show it it's kind of confidential my partner aka attorney would stab me in the face <laughs> but uh, we've got a new way to separate the lithium concentration without doing all the bullshit that typical lithium brines do as well so a bunch of stuff in the works uh, yeah that's what's going on that's my Monday uh, as I said in the other video Got some orphan wells I'm going to go look at, talk to the mineral owners, uh, see if we can't get them up and running. The state's on a tear right now, plugging orphan wells. Uh, what they're finding out, unfortunately, is that you actually make money just plugging it because of all the surface equipment. That's why I love orphan wells, because it, it's like flipping a house. There's actually a lot of money in the equipment there on site already. You know, you can make money. If all you do is go out and get the well and plug it, you still can make money just from the surface equipment. You got pump jacks out there that can be worth a hundred thousand on their own. So, but the state's realizing that and they're actually making it profitable plugging these wells in a lot of cases. So, um, they're keeping me on my toes going out and tracking down good wells. But uh, yeah, that's it. Until uh, next time, have a good one.